Welcome back to the News at 5. Electronic cigarette shops are popping up all over the Inland Northwest, but the product that they're selling is largely unregulated. Until now, today the FDA is proposing some changes. And KXY4's Ian Cole working for you to explain how the government says those changes will protect your body and your children. The way these e-cigs work is that it has a battery here, there's a coil up top, you put some liquid in and then it basically delivers vapor to your mouth. The thing is, that liquid is completely unregulated. People can put whatever they want into it, even sell it online. That's one of the things the FDA wants to put a stop to. New rules and a safer product. That's what the FDA proposed this morning. Ideas Lilac City Vapor owner Brad Bellinger agrees with. It's good to have FDA warnings on labels and letting people know that they're taking nicotine. The regulations would include no sales to minors, which is already banned in Spokane, no more free samples in stores. There also must be warning labels saying that the product is addictive. And finally, the liquid must be tested and approved. The accuracy of what's on the label is, can come into question. So if that's being, you know, oversight by the FDA, then that's probably a good thing. It's still cheaper than regular cigarettes. So. People like Karen Lucas swear e-cigs are safer than the ones filled with tobacco. Her entire family switched over. I see the difference every day in my husband and in my son. They're more active. Uh, they breathe better. They sleep better. But Kim Papich from the Spokane Regional Health District says the FDA has done limited studies on e-cigs. And in those studies, there was more nicotine than the manufacturer claimed and chemicals similar to tobacco cigarettes. It can be poisonous. It can be fatal. They're seeing more instances of poisonings with um, children and animals that are ingesting the liquid nicotine. Those initial regulations will be set after a public comment period. But Papich thinks more rules could be on the way. Ian Cole, KXLY4 News.